Hey guys, so um, I got a request to do a supplies video today, so today I'm just going to be giving you a little insight to what I plan on bringing with me to uh, nursing school. So I start in the middle of August. So what I'm going to be discussing is how I organize myself. So the way I organize myself is definitely not going to be how you may organize yourself. I feel as though if I tell you how I organize, maybe it will spark a light bulb and it will let you figure out what you want to do for your organization skills. And let's start off by talking about electronics. Um, I have all Apple products. I like to keep all of my um, products the same brand just so that they can all interconnect with each other. I have a MacBook Pro. Um, on my MacBook Pro, I really like using Notability, the app. I have a blog on my um, blog about how to use Notability and what I like about it so much. So you can check that out and I might even make a video about that too if you're interested. I also use my phone for Notability too, believe it or not. I have the app on here. So let me start off by saying that Notability, you do have to pay for the app on the computer. Um, it's not too pricey, but it's definitely worth it. You have to also purchase it for your iPad. For your phone, it's free. I wouldn't suggest taking notes on your phone, but if you some for some reason forget your computer or your iPad, it's great to use your phone to record the lectures. Now, um, I'm not really an audio learner, but in the case that I didn't hear something in lecture and want to revert back to my notes and listen to the lecture again. That's um, the only reason I'll actually stimulate my audio. I don't, I'm not the type of student who likes to listen to their lecture in the car, like on their way to class. I don't do that. I don't think it works. Um, for me anyways. For binders, I have a bunch of binders that I plan on using for nursing school. A bunch of different colors. So excited to use these. I love, love binders. So um, if you know me well, <laughs> you'll know that binders are very nice. So these are one inch binders. Um, I have one here. I had to, I'm going to cover up my, um, my school because I don't want, that's kind of personal to me. Um, so this, I'm using this binder for all of my handouts and information. So this can go along the lines of um, payments I still have to do, uh, also um, things I need to do before the orientation. Um, so right now I, I have a whole reading assignment for orientation because they're starting the first lecture in the orientation. So I have about a month to get that done. As far as calendars, now underneath my, um, my computer here I have a desk calendar and it kind of just gives me an overview of when I have class and when I have work and the days that I have personal things going on. I also have a big planner. This thing is for two years. Can you believe that? So I have a whole box over here that has right here that has all the stickers and fun things to put in here. I just um, have started putting in the days that I have my clinical and my lectures. But this starts for July. This is not an Erin Condren planner. This you can get at Michael's. I spent a pretty penny on all the accessories that go with this and I bought the extension to make it two years. So that's just going to be my whole ADN program. So it goes from July of this year all the way until June of 2018. That's crazy. So I plan on just keeping that in my backpack, which I'll show you right here. I got this backpack off of Amazon and it's cool because I believe this is the one that had like a little cooler, I think. Maybe not. Maybe. I don't know if it's a cooler or not, but it's a backpack and it has pockets. And then this part is awesome. You could fit like your iPad in there, which is what I usually do. I usually bring my iPad with me. But in the case that I want to bring my um, computer with me, what I like about this is that it only opens like this. So um, 
It doesn't open like a regular bag where this would zip down all the way, but it has a nice um, uh, pocket right here for your computer and so it stays safe. Another pocket in front of that, maybe for um, another kind of tablet. And then you also ha have this um, this mesh lining in here and then more pockets, 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 and more pockets. You can also carry it like an actual laptop bag or you can actually use it as backpack, which is cool. And they have different colors in this too. I just like the blue one out of the options they had. Actually, and the other thing you can do is it came with another strap so you could actually use it as just a satchel. So they have the um, the rings right here and that's inside my bag. I got this off of Etsy and I forget her name, but I'll put it in the comments below. Um, it, I like this. This is really nice. So this is my bag. It opens with the zipper and I have my name embroidered with the... Uh, this design here. I have my light pens here and other different pens and uh, permanent markers and extra batteries for the pen lights. And then I have like my little badge clip right here too. And I'll show you what's inside. I ordered uh, this when I ordered my scrubs. Um, so it opens like a clipboard and it's good for um, protecting any information that you might have in here so that you can um, not violate HIPAA. I have a little uh, pen holder. This is just uh, some permanent markers and different colored pens um, and a pencil. I'm not gonna put white, white out in here because I know you cannot use white out at all um, in clinical. I have some compression socks, which is going to fit you. These are, um, I believe, Prestige Medical. I have big calves and these fit. So it says one size fits all. It really does, because they fit me. <laughs> and I also have um, a, my stethoscope. This is one out of the other one that I have. So this is a prestige medical stethoscope that I got as a gift. And then it also came with a um, sphygmo manometer, and it is the same design as the case. And it also came with a pocket protector. And some of these things um, they said to not get in our supply list because they will already be providing it. And I think this was one of the things that they would be providing. So in here there's bandage scissors, there's a multicolored pen, and there's another pen light. And this is um, a pupil um, diameter uh, ruler. And then this will just go on my scrubs right here. I will show you guys my other stethoscope right now. So this is my baby. I love this stethoscope. This is fantastic. Like I I have to tell everyone to get a Litman. It's a Cardiology 3 and I I love Litmans. They are just so nice and they have the most incredible sound. I mean I have yet to use the Prestige Medical one but this is seriously my go-to, and I don't have bad hearing, but this is just amazing. Amazing, especially if you're just learning too, because you'll definitely be able to hear it. It's also good to learn off of one that isn't much of a high quality brand, because then you'll get to know what you're listening for before you can actually use something like this. Um, this was a gift to me for Christmas. From my mother. She also got me a, um, and I picked these out, um, she would not have a clue what to buy if I didn't tell her. Um, so this is just another sphygma manometer, but this is by, um, I believe, ADC. I really like this one, and it's nice and it's comfortable for the patient, and um, the uh, pump, the nozzle doesn't get stuck, so it's really easy to control. I really like that. I know we're supposed to be taking pulse, manually with our fingers but I just had to get this because it also does O2 sat and it's purple and purple has like been my color lately so um, this is my pulse oximeter. If you don't know what this is it just takes your pulse and your O2 um, saturation levels so I'm pretty good right now. Pretty good. So let's talk about highlighters, pens, pencils. I have it 
all. I am a walking staples, I could say. So let's talk about post-its for a second. <laughs> Bam! Look at all of this. I have a little kitty post-it thing and then I have I have these mini ones. I like to use these when I'm uh, reading and I need to mark where I'm reading. Um, I don't like marking in my books because I think it's unfair um, if I were to resell it. I also don't like buying used books. I read and I like to make my own assumptions and I like to make my own notes based off of what I'm reading. So if I get, if I rent a book and it has writing in it, it's going to distract me from how I really feel about what I'm reading. So if you can, buy new books. That's what I did for all of my nursing books and some people might think it's unnecessary but that's how I learn. I don't like looking at other people's opinions and notes because what they might be studying is not something I need to be studying. So that's what I have to say about that. And I just have a whole plethora of post-its right here. So I have these ones, mini ones. I'm probably going to use these ones for my planner and then these ones for in my books and my notes. This thing right here that keeps all my um, highlighters in it. I have a whole bunch of these. These are awesome. I like these um, big ones. And then I really, really do not like these gel ones. They're, they're not sticky, but they're messy and they get all over the place. So these are like my last resort if I don't have a highlighter. But they are, they're nice. I like how they come out when I'm highlighting. They're just messy. And I have a ton of permanent markers. An unnecessary amount of permanent markers, all different colors. I'm just obsessed. I have whiteout. Even though you shouldn't be using whiteout, I like to use it when I'm taking notes in class. Not when I'm turning something in. It's very unprofessional. I have these dividers that I plan on putting in my binders. I love dividing. <laughs> and organizing each of my binders, even if it's just for one subject. I could show you guys an example of that, and then of how I organize. I don't have anything, any binders yet with the pocket dividers, but just in general with the dividers I can show you. So let me show you an example of how I organize my um, binders. So here is one. So um, I'm not going to show you the front because it has like my whole schedule and the name of my school and it would probably look recognizable. Um, but I put my schedule on the front. First how I like to lay it out. Um, it looks pretty plain right now because I'm not really doing much. So it's very, it's very tiny. It's a half inch. So basically I like to lay it out with some loose leaf paper. I don't like to use notebooks because I like to organize my notes in different categories or I like to rewrite them. So, um, hi Callie. So I will keep loose leaf paper, but we'll see. I might start using notebooks because my style of setting now may not be the same for when I'm in nursing school. So next I like to um, put a clear pocket and this is gonna be the syllabus. And then I also like to put another clear pocket and detach the um, assignments that are due um, and when and what quizzes or tests are coming up and that goes in this pocket. I'll um, divide it based off of how that class is kind of laid out. So this cork board and it basically is just um, handouts that I have that I did not include in my handouts and information binder but ones that I need to see constantly just so that it's reminding me and I don't forget. So when I'm copying my notes onto an outline on my computer. I usually would just lay down my notes on the desk, but I bought this on Amazon and it's pretty neat. So basically you just put your paper under here and clip it in and then you just stand it up on your desk and then you just read off of that. I just thought that was pretty neat and I, it was very useful. I plan on using this a lot, so, but we'll see. I mean, who knows, maybe I won't use it at all, but that's my plan. I might do an update to this video and tell you guys how my study habits have changed but as far as right now this is how I study um, and these are the items that I use so if you ever have any specifics on what you'd like to see about organizing 
I can go in depth about the binders, I can go in depth about my planner, I can go in depth about um, my outlines, you name it, just ask me in the comments below, I'll be sure to answer your concerns or questions. Well, that's about it, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!